Smallholder farmers have faced a number of challenges arising from poor market linkages to help them drive the local market and sustain their businesses. The effects of climate change have also not spared the smallholder farmers, including those in the aquatic food system sector. Wild fish, with support from cooperating partners, have been promoting inclusive pro-poor business models to improve access to aquaculture inputs, output markets, extension and climate smart information systems. They sought to improve access to fish, enhance nutrition, and create job opportunities for women and youth in Zambia's urban, peri-urban, and rural areas in northern and Luapula provinces. Wild Fish has focused on training smallholder fish farmers on integrated aquaculture agriculture with livestock, climate smart aquaculture, and improving farmer access to climate smart information services through the integration of aquaculture into the Agriculture Data Hub. They also sought to provide access to improved, quality, and resilient fish seed by linking farmers to trained seed producers in their communities, strengthening collaboration with feed companies to bring commercial feed closer to the farmers, and link farmers with off-takers to ensure market access to sell their fish. We followed Mr. Cosmos Chachi in Luwingu, proprietor of Triple Blessings, and he had this to say on how the interventions have impacted his business. In the past, our local fish farmers had nowhere to sell their fish once they are vest. Now, with your support, you, you, you made me to, to be an off-taker. So, mm -hmm. buying fish from them and stocking them into, in, my, in my supermarket. So, it was so easy for them to keep on producing fish. And it was so good to me to, um, to, to, to have fish, local fish, in in, in, in 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 the shop so I, I was buying from other companies like Yalelo, Capital Fisheries so those are those were the reliable source of our fish now this time we are able to buy fish from our local fish farmers are you also producing fish from those fish ponds as you have asked me mm -hmm. I have managed to produce about 850 kg mm -hmm. since uh, January this is uh, in, the, in, 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 in eight months, the last, the last bunch I, I produced, mm -hmm. I produce about 210 cages. Mm -hmm. Immediately, once it comes from water, we put it in the fridge in the shop. Within one day, I managed to sell about 200 cages. I remained with only 10 cages. Okay. So it's like, even uh, my customers, they have come to like our fish from, from the pond. I think I've bought about 2,500 cages of fish from our local fish farmers. Mm -hmm. Within one week, I'm able to sell about 100 kg. Mm -hmm. So, it, so it, it's like the demand of fish is too, keep, it, it keeps on growing. Apart from fish, what other agriculture produce are you uh, uh, buying and selling? Yes, it's uh, even if livestock products. Like so, so because I got an idea from you, like mm -hmm. being an off-taker for fish, now it's, it's it's one the same. The people who feed on uh, fish, they also feed on other lives of yeah. products. So it's like, why can't we just bring them so that we work? Uh, they they work together. So it's, it's easier for me to start buying. I also buy goods. Mm -hmm. I stock it in my sh my shop. Mm -hmm. I buy uh, uh, even pigs from our local farmers. So it's like. Everything, everything, chickens, those people are keeping broiler chickens, mm -hmm. village chickens. You buy broiler chickens? I chicken. buy from them, I stock it. Even, even those people who are, who, are, who, are, who are given loans from the government. Mm -hmm. So sometimes from CEC. Yeah? So you have so, been identified as a key buyer? Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. so it's when they are trying to, to, to teach them. Try to advise uh, uh, to 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 like train them how to produce chicken. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They say, okay, start keeping chickens. Mm -hmm. There's profit. Here is the buyer. Okay. They call me to go and speak to them to say, okay, here it is. He, he can he can he can speak to you and see how you can start dealing with him. So but how has the, the these platforms, the multi stakeholder platform, where we invite you to meetings? How has it helped you to grow your business? Yeah, you know. All what I'm talking about, it came from you, from World Fish. I through um, with you uh, uh, through your your, your partners, mm -hmm. Icra, this uh, Icra program. So 
what you are teaching us, we, you call us to, 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 to attend your workshops, mm -hmm. we learn a lot. And as from now, we have come from the field, visiting our, uh, 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 our other partner to see what they are doing. You are putting a lot of resources, or a lot of time. You have to know that these things didn't go just to waste like that. It's like you have impacted a lot of things in, uh, in, in my life and also in the lives of our local farmers. Thank you so much. Did you say other farmers are also benefiting from him? Let us hear what they had to say. Kono <laughs> so <laughs> Fiji wala kuata, then ba mboku tu sambiri shako, fia kuteke sabi. Bati ba risa tuweba ba chacho kwe bati, irisa bi, heba kashita. Kadi no kuisa walesa, iringi ni nemu kuisa mungu tu pempu la kofiria, ba risa ba risa tu mona ko, ba mona ko efshiba finefi, ba tuweba ba tu kosele shaba mboku tu funda kongkanya ni po, eh no. Alorupia <laughs> Pantu mi mbile ye damu de mtuwa imba, ili ni festi kuno kurubushi. Mtuwa li lioku bafunda, muawombe ni pantu na atukulida. The smallholder farmers, they are benefiting a lot. These farmers, they are, 
themselves, they are the producers of the raw materials that we are using. So once they produce, we provide ready market to them. So now we have a standard of the products that we want to buy from them, be it soya beans, be it fish, be it uh, maize. So now looking at the standard, what we want, these farmers may not uh, find it easy to produce such type of standard. So we have uh, an extension department, extension service department, which looks at providing extension services that works with together with the, uh, the Minister of Agriculture and uh, then also the Minister of Fisheries and Livestock. We move in now to train the farmers, help them understand. We train them in sustainable agriculture. We train them, also we train them on the on the impact of climate climate change. So these things, we let them understand the reasons why uh, this we are having effects of climate change. Tomorrow, they may not have these commodities that they can sell to us. Why? Because of the challenges that has been resulted from the effects of climate change. So in this case, we move in now to train them how they can be resilient, more resilient, and how they can remain in production so that as they remain, even us, ourselves, our business will thrive and it will be sustainable.